There once was a lady in waiting, let's call her Jane. That girl wasn't ordinary. No way for me, a lady stuck in waiting. I'd rather battle fire breathing dragons. I knew I could prove that a girl could be a knight, though my friends all laughed at me. But I wouldn't be discouraged and trained in secret. Then a dragon pinched the royal prince, and everyone was freaking. So I went alone to the dragon's home to slay the dragon. Young prince, then the king made me a knight apprentice. Hey now, hey now, now. With dragon's help, I'll be a knight someday. Lucky blow, <laughs> Jane. Who needs luck? <laughs> Could you make that noise somewhere else? This is the practice yard, dragon. <laughs> Not the sleeping yard. That was a touch. Not even close. Tell him, dragon. If I say it was, will you two stop making that racket? Oh, big help, Green Lips. And you, Gunther, are a cheat. Cheat is a loser's word for clever. Jane, Gunther, halt. Finally. Your swords are well matched today. Perhaps we might test some other skills. Battle strategies? No. Languages? Or weaponry? Falconry? No. The test is preparation. Study your books and prepare for anything. Think of the test as a battle. Who knows what might be thrown at you. I shall best you, Jane, whatever it is. The amount you study? I doubt it. Yes, run to your books, Jane. Run! <laughs> oh. 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 oh, bat bladders! How can I sleep with all this quiet? Oh, uh, sorry, Rake. I was just... No time to chat, Jane. The royal party leaves soon. Must get these to Pepper. Royal party? Bread! Bread! Excuse me, what royal party? And where are they going? Oh, very important, Jane. The king and queen and your mother and father are all going. Somewhere. Cheese! Cheese! Going somewhere to do what? Did you sign something? Cider? Cider? Sir Theodore never said anything. What about escort duty? Did they mention an escort? No, sorry. Boiled eggs! Uh, of course. Boiled eggs. Escort duty. Prepare for anything. He said, who knows what might be thrown at you? Uh, thanks. Uh, Jane, Sir Theodore requests your presence in the throne room. Yes. Pack something for me, Pepper. And their signature on this document will grant your majesty logging rights in their kingdom. Looks very official. And a bit, um, squiggly. Do we have a new calligrapher? That would be me. Your majesty, I have packed your velvet cape and matching slippers. Very good. I fear it is a long ride. Would you check the padding in my saddle cushion? If need be, I will pluck the goose myself. You summoned me, Sir Theodore? Yes, Jane. You have been assigned the most important task, protection of the royal children. Thank you, sir. They will not want for a more dedicated escort. How long before we depart? Jane, the royal children will be staying behind. Behind? But then how will... Oh... Jane? I trust the children will be in good hands. I am honoured to be entrusted with their care, Your Majesty. Honoured, perhaps. And just a little alarmed, yes? They can be very boisterous. Let the battle Go! commence! Yeah! Woohoo! Jane! We can play dress-up, and I can put flowers in your hair and everything! Yeah! We can play prisoners in dungeons! Yeah! In the real dungeons! Listen to Jane, both of you. I expect you bathed and in bed when I return. Yes, you will. Mama! Bye! Bye! Goodbye. Ow. <laughs> Thank you. I 
can see this is going to be a lot of fun. Chester, just the person I need. Sorry, Jane. Press for time. Have you seen my puppets? Puppets? No. But you know who loves your puppets? The prince and princess. And the king. He gets so bored on these long rides. Ta-da! Enjoy the trip. Ow! Hey, my sword is in good hands and will remain so, my lord. Bad, bad, bad. Bye, boys. I hope they bring me back a present. Will they, Jane? I think so. I hope so. A baby unicorn. Unicorns are not real, Tickle Brain. Tickle Brain? Jane, tell Mr. Hedge Pig not to call me names. <laughs> I would rather be a hedge pig than a tickle brain. Mm -hmm. I think we can stop the name calling, my little majesties. Right. Hat snatching! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, what fun. <laughs> so, how is the studying going? I am serving my king, Gunther. You could offer to help. That would be the knightly thing to do. Delighted to oblige. Truly? Right after I spend all day studying for the test. <laughs> Tickle brain? I prefer Hello Handsome. Not you. The ever vexing Gunther. He thinks he will best me on the test. I could even the odds. Charcoal his books for you? Tempting, but not sporting. But you could help me look after these two enchanting little charges. What do you say? Great. Name three differences between a trebuchet and a catapult. <laughs> Number one, the trebuchet employs weight to launch the projectile. Jane, will you play tea party with me? Of course, right after I finish this chapter. Whereas the catapult launches its projectile... Whoa! Past my head. Bog weevils, missed. Did you aim that at me? No, I am laying siege to her tea party. <gasps> And I will defend them bravely with my life and my rabbit. <sighs> oh! <laughs> truth, truth! I laugh at your truth. I will fight the scoundrel to the last rabbit. Hmm. Very noble, your little majesty. But if you are intent on doing battle, then at least do it properly. Every army is led by a captain knight. Why not practice following your leader? What leader? Me. Yes, yes! I will follow my leader into the very jaws of death itself. Very nice. But for now, just do what I do. Knights of the King's Guard, attention! Form ranks by height. Forward, march! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Smithy, the bolt from a crossbow is accurate to what range? I believe the answer is in your book. Big help, Smithy. I have a test later and a lot of book to get through. Look at the size of this thing. Who can hope to study all that? Well, Jane seems to cope well enough. If only I knew what this wretched test was about. Perhaps Sir Ivan will know. After he tests his crossbow's range on you, he gave orders not to be disturbed. Oh, so is he napping? You know how he is after his mid-morning meal. Gunther, what you doing? Shh! What are you looking for? Well, what do you have there, Gunther? What are my little majesties doing? 
Your Majesties are following a very boring leader. Yes, Jane. Leaders should be cleaving skulls and decimating their enemies. Can we play tea party now? Um, soon. Let me just finish this chapter. Is it a good story? Read out loud. It has to be better than this. Well, all right. When facing superior forces, employing diversionary tactics <sighs> can be... Boring. Tea party, tea party, tea party! Well, this looks yeah. like fun. <sighs> yes, like head lice. <laughs> Fetch! <laughs> so, guess who I caught stealing papers from Sir Theodore's desk? That cheating biscuit weevil. Good guess. Did I mention that I have to be anywhere but here? Dragon, wait. I know the Little Majesties are my responsibility, and I have no right to ask you. I feel a no coming on. Please, just for an hour or two while I get some study done. Oh. Whoa, champion shot, Cuthbert. Hmm. Let me think about this, Jane. No. I will spend the whole evening studying your dragon runes with you. Let me see. An hour of torture in exchange for a promise to do what you have been promising to do since we first met. Uh, yes, exactly. Bring strawberries? Dear, Highnesses, Dragon is going to watch you for a bit. Yay! Hurrah! Now it's real. Can we fly? Hurrah! Can we? Just stay in the garden and do everything Dragon tells you. But no flying and no snorting fire. I do not snort. You do? Big snorts. I exhale sharply. Completely different. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Dragon, watching. Oh, we can play follow the leader. Hide and stay there, quietly. Hide and seek is boring. I always win. Ah, oh, do you indeed? Well, I bet I can hide Princess Short Life where you will never find her. And I bet I can find her anywhere. More soup, Jane? No, thank you, Pepper. Just need some quiet time. Maybe a little cheese? Bread and butter? A nice tart! Right! Quiet! Absolute silence! Pepper! Pepper! Quiet, Rake! Jane's studying! Ma! Sorry, Jane. I tried to give the Little Majesties their picnic luncheon, Pepper, but they're nowhere to be found. They were not in the gardens? No, they were not anywhere. Dragon! Cold. Colder. I know where she is. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Much colder. Dragon, I said stay Shh. in. Hide and seek. So everything is under control? Easy as toasting a royal shrubbery. Uh, which we have to talk about. Freezing! Give up yet? No, never. So, where is the princess hiding? <laughs> Guess. No, just tell me. In the dungeon. What? The dungeon? Oh, not fair. He heard you. How could you? Not 
No luck, eh? In the dungeon, no. I searched every cell. Switched hiding places. I taught her that. Keeps us on our toes. Dragon, we have misplaced the princess, and the king and queen will be back shortly. Please go and keep an eye on the prince. It would be nice to hand over at least one heir to the throne. No problem. Soon as I find him. What? Easy. I have Gunther looking after him. A quiet game of capture the flag. I have the flag. Your Highness, please. <laughs> I need that paper. <laughs> Princess, the game is over. You have won. Please come out. Um, Jane. Royal party approaching. How close? Oh, half a league. Maggots, where is she? Princess, where are you? Not in here. Just a rat. Hello, rat. Ha! I have the flag. I have the flag. Give it back, <laughs> you little <laughs> highness. Dragon, progress report. Uh, very close, down by the wharf. I know, smoke screen. I could burn a boat. One quick puff, crack, boom, done. No, no burning. Sorry, Jane, no sign of her. That is one smart little girl. She will stay put until she wants to be found. I guess so, but there must be... Yes! Of course, a tea party. A tea party? Right, to, uh, to... Celebrate? Chapter three in my book. When all else fails, lure the enemy to you. <laughs> all right, very good, Your Highness. I let you tie me up. Now for your part of the bargain. Very well. Here is your silly paper. <laughs> Wait, it fell off. Untie me. <laughs> This tea party is such fun! Too bad the princess is not here to join us! Oh yes, pot of tea. I am so parched. Disappointed. No tea. Yeah. Your bungled babysitting is what happened. I should tell Sir Theodore of your complete incompetence. Really? And will you tell him of the stolen test paper as well? Well, well, what have we here? Did you have fun? I had such fun! Did you now? That is good. Excellent fun! Your Majesties, does this look like fun? Jane lost control of the children and let them run amok. I did that, Father, all by myself. Proper knots and everything. Did you? Proper knots? Well done. And you organized this, did you, Jane? No, Your Majesty. Gunther is right. I did lose control of the children. I failed you dreadfully. What? Because of this nonsense? My son ties me to the throne all the time. <laughs> Very good knots indeed. Yes! Jane, I would have preferred the children be bathed and in bed. Yes, Your Majesty. Well, Jane, anything you care to tell me? Yes, Sir Theodore. The King has been very gracious, but I completely lost the princess until a few moments ago. I see. And Gunther, anything you care to tell me? No, Sir Theodore, despite Jane's negligence, I managed to spend the day studying for your test. Yes, of course, the test. Sir Ivan! Thought I was asleep, did you, lad? On second thought, Sir Theodore, I, I may have accidentally um, looked on your desk while searching for a quill. Oh, a quill, was it? <laughs> Funny, it looks just like a test paper to me. It appears you went to a great deal of trouble for nothing, Gunther. That is not today's test. 
No? No. Today was a test of the Knight's Code of Conduct. Tell me, Gunther, what virtues are most honored in our code? Honesty and integrity. Good. You know them. Now learn to display them and we will make a knight of you yet. And as for you, Jane... True, you performed your duties abysmally, but I cannot fail you for your honesty and integrity. I passed? Do you really think we would have left you in charge of the royal heirs alone? I had the situation well in hand. Thank you, Sir Ivan. Then the princess was never truly in danger when she was up on the roof? She was on the roof? Morty, Squire Gumper? Yes, please, Your Highness. Capture the port! Capture the port! <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> Keep the noise down. Some of us are trying to study up here. We know this one means dragon, and it looks just like one on your cave wall. But this one here is the same symbol, except the strokes are longer. Like shadows? Yes, exactly like shadows. So the shorter the strokes... The shorter the shadows? Babies? Baby dragons? We shall find out, dragon. We will learn everything we can, I promise.